Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Attingham Park. I am in a field that you don't recognise. That's because, if you remember, last time I said I was going to do the £45,000 bailing contract off camera. I have done that and it has taken me around about, I think, five hours real time. Uh, yes, about five hours real time to do that job. It's been an absolutely enormous job. But these are the last bales um, to complete the contract. There are a few left in the field. I actually have already delivered bales up to the biogas plant to store them there because I already knew we were going to have more than we needed. So this is going to be a very welcome bit of income when we complete this contract. Plus, I have something interesting to show you about related to this. So get these tipped first. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this should complete the contract and yeah, there we go. We've got some money for it as well. Awesome. So I'll fold him back down. Uh, I will go and get the rest of the bales and I'll take them up to the biogas plant and I'll see you there. Just five bales left on the field, but you can see here that is two times 14. Two stacks of 14 piled up here, so 28 um, and plus the other five here, that's going to be 33 bales, plus all that we have on the field already. And time saving stock check was updated which means this is actually considering bales now the same as here you can see the hay and the straw so we have in total 468,500 litres of silage that's rather a lot um, I just turned the lights on accidentally so this guy, we'll fold him up he can be returned and we can complete the contract and then we've got something quite exciting to do today um, just while we're letting him fold up. I did drop in some grass silage into here. I had a spare bale um, just lying on the floor and I just dropped it in. There is still some silage in here but we're keeping that for the sheep. Um, we do need to feed the sheep. That's one important thing. So if we come into here we can now complete this. Collect 42,700... 42,490. That is very very nice. Over here then. So, first thing, before we do any feeding, I want to head into construction. And I do not know where this is going to be. Containers, maybe? Ah, here we go. Right. So we've got this hydrant, or this one. We've got different styles. Um. I think this one's quite good. And we can put him over here. I need to know my controls. Um, that's rotate camera. That's rotate item. There we go. Yeah, I think pop him over here near to where the. Just on the corner. Okay, lovely. So that means we can now get ourselves water. So we can fill up this guy directly and drop him water, which is very helpful because the sheep do still need water. They don't actually have much right now. It's the one thing they're lacking. So we'll get this guy filled up. Oh, he's already there, ready to be filled. Okay, it's not a very big capacity, but now that we have the now that we have a refill point in the yard, we can do this much, much quicker. I'm hoping to get this message. There we go, start overloading. And how are the animals doing? So, cows need more base food. Base food is the uh, silage. And the sheep, they also need silage, but that's not a problem. And water, water they're looking better on. We just will quickly refill again. We get the, car uh, the, the animals all topped up to how they should be. And we don't have to be very close, which is quite handy. There we go. 
Yep. This should fill him up. Oh yeah, and look. We've got our first bit of wool. It's waiting. Not much, but it's good. It's going to keep us going. Uh, and I'm very pleased that we're actually getting some use out of this trailer, because the trailer was not used much. Since we filled the greenhouses, we haven't had to do much with it. And the car doesn't get used that much either, so it's, it's handy. There we go. Uh, that is... they're almost full, so that's good. Leave him here, and let's grab... Well, no, we'll open the gate first. That would be sensible. We can grab the tractor. And we can fill them up with as much as they will take. Trying to be careful not to run them over, of course. It would be very useful if they did actually get out of the way. Come on. So we are, unfortunately, having to tip onto their heads while they're eating. Right, that was quite a lot they took. But they are now completely full. I'm gonna have to get this trailer refilled again, I think. But that's a job. Not for right now. Okay. Just leave him there for a moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop over to the shop because we're gonna buy something. Um, so I will just, yeah, I'll put him away and I'll meet you over at the shop. 65,000 for that, that seems like a bargain. Ready without key, interesting. But that's not what we're buying. We are buying a new tractor. But this tractor is going to be very, very nice. So it's gonna be a favorite, but we're gonna spec it to 926. Now the spec I want means that we need a little bit more money now, of course, we have money in the bales, so we can repay this pretty much straight away. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, yes, into here, and where has he gone? So, the 900, the 926, I'm going to leave him as he is. Design is fine. Beacon lights, I want left and right. Mirrors, we're going to go with the electric wide-angle mirrors. Warning signs, no. Front PTO, yes, very useful. Azario Pro, no, and GPS is currently no. We might add the GPS in the future. Uh, and license plate, we should put a license plate in. So uh, I think that was fine. BT is probably okay, BT 75. And then we're gonna do Fent VAR. Well, no, in fact, let's just do VAR. Vario. Perfect. Okay. And let's buy this. So this is now a new tractor for us to use with 285 horsepower. That is impressive. That's going to do all the work we needed to do. I am very, very happy that we were able to find that so cheap. Uh, that's not even on sale. That's just, it's in a mod called um, Fent Vario Package. And I, yeah, when I was looking at what we could get next, I saw that these were cheap and was very impressed with the price. So, we are going to have to sell some bales now to be able to pay off the loan. Uh, theoretically, we should be able to pay off the entire loan. So, I'm going to take this guy back to the yard, going to pick up that auto load trailer, and we're going to be able to get some grass silage bales that we can then take over and sell. So I've driven up here and the sand in the cab is absolutely awesome I have to say. Um, you get the sound of this bumping uh, when you go over bumps obviously. It's, it's really really cool. Um, right. So I thought these were round bale 150s but apparently they're not. Or maybe the auto load is on the other side. New. So you're not. Are you 180s? 
don't tell me that we can no longer pick up bales. Well, why are you 125s? Hmm. Ah. It takes a long time to get back to the 125s. There we go. Ah, there we are. Okay, well, that, that's fine. Not a big deal. So, yeah, we'll pick these up. Apparently, we can take 12. And we'll take them. They're going to go to Atcham Livestock as per usual. That's where all of our bales go. It's a shame we only have one place to sell bales on this map, really. I suppose we could put a second place in. We could buy an industry that uses it. Um, but not just yet. We have just... Well, we're doing very well. We've now got a second tractor. But we did have a lot of cash until I just spent it all in one quick hit. But yeah, it's good. We needed this. We really did. Because the Fiat, as great as it is, it was really struggling just to do things like pulling the digestate. It can't pull the tank. And that's a problem. So this is going to help massively. And I did want to pick up the weight that we have, but I forgot to do it. It's all the way up there. There's not much point in driving up there. Uh, so I think we'll just head straight back. Just need to find where the road is. Here it is. It starts by here. So I'm going to put this into the cab mode, so you can hear the sort of the bumping that I was talking about. Hopefully we'll go over some bumps now. But you get this really nice sound, and it's not the trailer, um, because it was on my way to the farm with the trailer off when it was sounding really good. It's a very, very nice sound. Of course I can't hear it now because I've turned the sound off. I only have the sound on when I'm not um, putting the gameplay footage in, if that makes sense. Otherwise the sound comes out of my speakers and through the microphone and it, you get double the sound, you get an echo. It's horrible. So I can't tell anymore if it is doing it, but it's really, really nice. Interesting thing though, we're showing us round bales 125, 12 of 12. In the bottom right corner, it's showing that we could have taken 15% more. Not sure why. But there we go. So yeah, we'll get into here. Hopefully, it will sell from the bed. If not, this bed, the bed of the trailer here, does tip. So we can do it that way. So let's just slow down. Don't want to get hit by anything. And the cars do speed through there with full speed. Okay. I am hoping this works easily. Uh, we should probably take the tension belts off though. Oh yeah, they are. They're selling directly. Brilliant. 12 bales, 9639. That is actually pretty good. Oops. Although I am jackknifing the trailer. This trailer is great, but I hate dolly trailers. Okay, I'm going to go back and then we can get ourselves another 12. Start collecting up again. It won't take long for us to get 12 bales. Auto load trailers are the greatest invention ever, in FS terms. If auto load trailers could be made for real life, ones that do this, not actual conventional auto load trailers, it would be even more of a big deal. If you could design a tele trailer that would teleport the bales, I think most farmers would pay their right and left legs for that. But anyway, we are making a bit of a dent in the rather large stockpile of bales that we've had. So that's good. And of course we've got enough to pay off. Well, once we've sold these, we'll have enough to pay off our entire loan, I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Double check. 
Okay, and now we will get ourselves back to Action Bales. Here we are then, so once again, we're going to sell, watch them all disappear as we drive in. Brilliant. Now, is that enough to pay off our loan? It's at least enough. Oh no. Okay, we are going to pay off then, I think, 10,000. No, we'll do 15. That's okay. That's enough for now, I believe. Uh, so, the last thing we need to do, and we can't do it with this trailer, I don't believe, is we need to buy ourselves a bale fork for our JCB telehandler. So, let's do this remotely. Uh, just double check nothing interesting is on sale, and it's not. So, JCB combinations... Is there anything interesting? Ooh, there's some cool bale forks in here. What's that? That is a bale fork. Okay. And that is as well. These are big bag lifters. Okay. Bale packs as well. And we've got the standard bales. The standard bale fork is 900. I don't want to pay over the odds really, but these are very cool. I think maybe we'll go with why why are these different that's single that looks to be double we're going to be picking up mainly design additional forks or standard okay telehandler yes main color we can either put it in blue or black uh, let's put it in all blue it's going to cost us seventeen forty-four. Okay, I will get that back to the farm. I'll get this guy there as well. I think we're going to leave him at the biogas plant for now because we're probably going to do some more selling of bales in future episodes. So, I'll see you back at the biogas plant with the new bale fork. Here we are then, with a lovely, completely out of colour <laughs> bale fork. Now, I'm going to try do three bales at once. I think this is probably not going to go well. But let's see. I'm going to have to do it very, very carefully. Of course, it's only showing 6,000 because I've only forked two of the bales. The third one on top is not actually got a spike through and that weight is right in the way question here is can I lift all three without causing any toppling? Let's do it slowly. I still haven't set my joystick up. I really should. Processing. Okay, they are now. They just didn't like it having um, three put in at once, I think. So this time we'll just do one on top, and then we can grab two from the bottom if we need to, but I think we're probably going to be okay. He's only got 30,000 litre capacity. Having said that, ooh, this is something interesting. So I downloaded a mod the other day. I'm pretty sure I turned it on. Yes, we can upgrade. So upgrading, I have no idea how much it will cost. Let's see what you think. We won't find out until we have enough money. But we can upgrade. And that then produces more. We can do the same in the greenhouse as well. No idea how that much that cost either. 
but upgrading will then increase the amount of money uh, the amount of product and processing and all that stuff so we could theoretically get our um, biogas plant to be making us I suppose if there's no limit we could be making a million a day but there probably is a limit so the next thing on the shopping list of course is a harvester um, and as well as that it's actually buying this pot uh, this JCB so every day we use it the price goes down which is good so we just have to actually start have to go through the process of buying now Come on. there we go so he's got plenty of grass silage now and I think that is going to be us for today we've got our new bale fork which we've been needing for quite some time to be honest and we've got that amazing new tractor. Now we are going to have to sell the Fiat. The reason being, we need a tractor up at the yard with a front loader. And this, oh, this has got reverse drive control, but he does not have um, a front loader option, and neither does the Fiat. So we're, we're going to need a small tra tractor. <laughs> maybe, yes, maybe even the Fent, I think. Yes, the Fent does have the option to attach a front loader. So that could be a solution. It's not a very expensive vehicle. Uh, we've also got plenty of small tractors in here that can attach a front loader, including this methane one. Uh, but yes, even small ones, even some of the very small ones could do it. So there we go. That's the first one, 49500 with a front loader. Um, Burger can't. What about the Izeki? Okay, and then we're getting to our mod area. The Antonio Carrera pack. These guys don't seem to be able to put this, put a front loader on. Which I'm quite surprised about. The Volvo can't either. The Kubotas? Ah, so the Kubota M6 could. That's quite a, quite an expensive tractor. Um, the 300, the 300 could, but that's 107,000. And the Fiat's can't. Ah, the little Ford could. Yes. So we could get the little Ford. Um, we could get either of them really, but I suppose 68 horsepower is probably enough. We set up exhaust, extra work lights, front loader, front loader attacher. Yes, there we go. So that would cost us thirty nine five hundred. That's probably a good thing to do. Um, yeah, we've also got the John Deere's. That's only fifteen five hundred. That would be very good. But that's more of a sort of outside tractor. But we've got this, the sixty three hundred with cab. Hmm. 20,000, 22,000. That is a bit of a bargain. For a tractor that we can just use for pulling around, pulling stuff around the yard, that is a bargain. I think that's next on the purchase list then. Okay, well, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you again soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.